the Jews making food. I'm Rebecca. <laughs> and I'm Amy. And today we are doing Viral Sensations Part 2. This part is the second two. part. Yeah, we've done this before with some success <laughs> and some failure. And some failure. <laughs> um, before we start, I, I do want to just acknowledge that things are really weird right now and mm -hmm. we're definitely struggling a little bit. Um, it's, it's, sometimes you feel guilty being funny when there's so much going on in the world, but... Um, you know, we just want to wish everybody out there okay. peace and health. safety and health. Happiness. And um, yes, but the laughter is 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 great medicine. So it's healing as well. So. Hopefully, you know, our ridiculousness will make people feel a little bit better. So oh my, that's all. I had to take a moment to do that. Okay, you know. so we anyway, are going to get going. On let's that, go. On that note, viral <laughs> sensations. Viral sensations. We are have good, good stuff for today, though. I'm excited. Amy, what are you making? I'm scared. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what am I making? Um, well, full disclosure, you found this online because I've, I've been, I don't know, busy and I was like, you find it, I'll make it. Um, and I, I am making a dirty martini pasta. I think this is so me. <laughs> <laughs> so you? Yeah, yeah I, it is. I also think this is so not Jewish. I don't know. It's like, well, yeah, I don't okay. know. It's like, a, like, who puts... Blue cheese and pasta. Is this a thing? I maybe, in, maybe in ravioli. There's, there's actually several versions of this. Yeah. This is just the one that we're going with today, and I cannot wait, because I'm I'm questioning the, the blue cheese gorgonzola. Me too. I did gorgonzola, which it says you can do, which is a little less which I like. bitey. I do too, in moderation. And when I went to this little like farm standy store I go to, they actually only had gorgonzola, so that's what we're having. Nice I said. think that'll be better. There is another version that does not have gorgonzola, that has parmesan, but that's like normal. Like par to me, Parmesan and olives. No, this is and like, like that's pretty normal. You know, so I'm like, we're going crazy. This also has anchovies. You in You know, it. When you have that dirty Anybody martini like with anchovies? like blue cheese you can deal stuffed with olives. Yeah, like that's, well, I think right, that's, that's like why. A yeah, on that. so if you're making a dirty martini pasta, it has to have olives oh. and blue cheese in I'm it. Excited. So anyway, go, yeah. Amy, go. Well. I'm done. No, just kidding. You did it? That's it. Okay. I got my, all right, so my pasta water is brewing. And uh, go. so I'm going to put in a pound of, I'm using bucatini. I love Because I love bucatini. Bucatini is this fat pasta with, it has a hole, it's it's hollow in the middle. It's sort of like a straw. It's crazy. It is like a straw. I love it. So a pound of bucatini goes in. Whoa. Woo! That's how you do it. Is that how you do it? That is how you do it. Um, I've actually done this. I just got a spoon ahead of time, and then left the pasta, and then it started to burn. Yeah. So they say to cook <laughs> this for one minute less than the instructions because you are gonna put it back in the pot it. at the end. So I'm gonna. And do you save the pasta water? Part a of cup it? of pasta water must be saved. So don't want to forget that. Good luck. Please don't want to forget. <laughs> Audience, um, yes. So um, this is gonna cook for eight minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer on my phone. To let this cook and then I'll oh, move on with the rest of it. I'm so excited. What are you doing? I, I am making, it's it's really an apple fritter, but there are these apple donuts where you take a sliced apple and you dip it in uh, like a, a covering. Oh, what is it? Like a glaze? Not covering. That's not a glaze. It's a, a, a mess. A, a mess of, it's a... What is it called? I don't know what you're getting at. It's like talking it's to like my a mother. It's a batter. It's a batter. This is, batter. is going to be totally like inappropriate. Batter. This is like talking to my mother-in-law with dementia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Let's just move so on. It's a, it's a batter. So you dip it in a batter and then you fry it gently in a pan and they actually come out delicious. This is not a health food. Is This is different from donuts you've made before. Because you have yes. made donuts on this I show. made donuts before. Today not we're that I'm frying. calling you repetitive. I'm just, you know, one minute. Am I repetitive? No. Oh my gosh. I'm leaving. So I'm going to actually heat up some oil and get this going while you are doing that. So, um, oh, let me set my timer. Eight minutes. So now when I first started to make this, um, I followed the exact recipe that was, oops, that was, whoops, on TikTok. His name is, it, it's Jordan Stallion 8 or whatever it is. Like, that's where I, I found it. That's a real it. name. Well, <laughs> it's, I don't know. So he made these things. He was going on and on about how great it was. I, I didn't think the recipe was good. Um. So I changed it. When I when I first made it, uh, I just took I'll an allow apple. Oh, allow it. I, I sliced it up. I put it in the batter and I fried it. It came out like a flat pancake with the, like an apple in the middle of it, which I thought wasn't exactly what I was hoping it was going to be. So I adjusted the recipe. I added a little bit of baking powder to it, and that kind of helped to round out. And the key to these to it to the batter actually sticking to the apple is you peel it. Uh, if you leave the skin on, um, the batter won't stick to it. 
I had no idea. Someone suggested it. I tried it. And now I have a little snack while I am peeling my, my oh, apples. for you. Because I saved them for, like, nosh as we're going. Yiddish. If you'd like some of the uh, apple, Annie. Uh, no, maybe. You can have the... Um, so actually, I got these local farm stand. It's apple season. And what do we say? If you don't, if you live, don't live near, near a, a farm, farm stand, stand move. move. We love our farm stands. We do. Um, so I've got my pasta boiling. Um, normally they say to like have this ready ahead of time. I chopped up most of my ingredients. So three cloves of garlic, three um, fillets of anchovy. Yum. Uh, I like anchovy. Some too. people are scared of it, but I honestly, it. it's just a We're really saying when you good cook it down, it's just salt. Salt. And this actually salty. doesn't have extra salt, and I did have a little just in case we need it. A tablespoon of lemon zest. There will also be a tablespoon of lemon juice. But I also need a cup of Castella Vetrano. Say that three times. <laughs> olives chopped. So I'm going to chop. Woo, they're going everywhere. You got green uh, olives, right? Is that what it calls Yes, for? green olives. <laughs> these are Castella Vetrano. These are my, actually my favorite. I didn't choose this olive. You just like saying the name. I do. Well, I happen to love this olive. It's my favorite kind of olive. Mm, really? It's very mild. They're this really... was made for you. This was made you for me. You had no idea that you were going to love this pasta. Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> You're <laughs> going to. Um, anyway, so I, I figured I would save something to chop during the show, so I'm chopping the olives. Chopping the olives. All right, I'm going to make the batter. Do it. So actually, this batter is very, very simple. It is a about a cup of flour. Just dump that in. And See. then a quarter cup of cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to help it crisp and uh, fry up nicely. Because uh, when I told my mother-in-law how much of this I was, she's like, how much cornstarch are you using in there? And I was like, it, it has to, you can't taste it. It doesn't taste like anything gross. I also thought that originally the batter was kind of plain. Um, and so it was just, it was the apple with the batter on top. And then you put uh, cinnamon and sugar on top of it. I just felt like I was eating an apple with like sugar which is not my favorite way to eat an apple. Sounds good to me. I know. So I, I, I adjusted the recipe a little bit to make the batter have a little bit more flavoring so you didn't have to depend so much on the sugar for it to be um, so sweet. A little bit of vanilla goes in, a little bit of uh, baking powder. I also add some pumpkin pie oh my God. spice. It's not a pumpkin spice latte. latte. You're going to be okay. If you watch our first episode of this season, you'll find out. I hate that. <laughs> Amy is not a fan. So do you like apple pie seasoning? Is it just the pumpkin I don't even like apple pie, to be honest. Really? No. Nope. Hmm. not a pie person. I Unless it's a person. chocolate cream pie. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Coconut cream pie. I don't like fruit pies. You like fruit pies? I don't like fruit pies. I don't like fruit pies Except Briarmere's raspberry cream pie. Really? Yeah. So oh. good. All right. And just a touch, a hint of salt into the batter. I'm not saying to go there. I'm just saying it's good. And then a half a cup milk. And then this is the change that I made. Uh, a half of a cup of um, apple cider. So I put that mm. in there just to give it a little bit. So that way I'm not depending so much on straight sugar alone. Uh, I like the flavor of um, apple cider and it's sweet enough. So I'm going ahead and just giving this a mix. So I'm gonna heat two, uh, two tablespoons of butter. Please. It said unsalted, I didn't have any, so this is salted, oops. Um, and one tablespoon, salty, salty one tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat. I'm going to start cooking my sauce, essentially. Amy, I'm excited about this. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm not, a, not excited. I'm glad I found it for you. I also have a cup <laughs> that I just want to let this get really, I don't want a ton of lumps in it. Oh yeah, you got to make that cocktail grow. Um, I'm going to get on, I'm getting on. The cocktail is actually super fun. Uh, over the summer... Uh, I was making, as I typically do, a lot of uh, margaritas, and as is normal... She likes to imbibe <laughs> I do. regularly. I do. It's, uh, it's part of the fun. You sit outside with your friends and your family, and you have a nice little cocktail with yourself outside in the sunshine. It's lovely. So what I have come to find is that squeezing limes is annoying. So I discovered that, I don't know if you guys have ever had like a Brazilian lot, like lime, like lime. Well, I was making a, a Brazilian what? Like lime, isn't that Bra Brazilian lemonade? You mean like a caipirinha? No, it's, it's like a Brazilian, they call it a Brazilian lemonade. I don't know, they could call it a lot of things, I'm sure. But uh, what you do is you actually make a simple syrup, which is what I'm going to do now. 
I have some warm water in here and to make a simple syrup, it's just one to one. So if it's a half a cup sugar, it's a half a cup water. If it's one cup sugar, it's one cup water. Amy, I'm stealing this real quick. You may. Um, and so I have half of a cup of sugar and this is just warm water to help it dissolve. So that's that. And now I'm going to take this, mix that around, and I'm going to throw the whole thing into the blender. And you just take the limes and you throw the limes in. I'm feeling so relaxed. Are you? Yeah. Just like la la la. You're enjoying the day. I am. I just want to eat one of these anchovies. So good. Um, I should have gotten some crackers. We can welcome our, our guests today. Again, our ever-present volunteers of Guild Hall and David. <laughs> All right, so now what you do for this is you just throw it in with uh, the simple syrup and the limes and you hit high. <laughs> Focused, they, they got the camera on you blending. That was very exciting. They're very good here. They're very good. Yeah. Every day we improve. Okay. You should have seen yeah. the first episode. You take it. We were all learning. And you just strain. Right. But the awesome thing about all of this is that you actually get the zest from the lime mixed into the uh, liquid, which is something that when you're making, you know, margaritas yeah. generally, you miss out on that. You miss out on the zest, and the zest is delicious. It's like a super yum part of it all. So now I am making a... Uh, I'm putting my seven years. I'm putting my olives, my garlic, my lemon zest, and my anchovies into the frying pan with the butter and the... with the butter and this olive oil. Oh my oh, gosh, it smells you. so good. It does. And, and this is going to cook for about three minutes until it becomes fragrant, which it already is, to be honest. Ooh! Your okay. pasta's done. It is. So they say. So they say. I don't really trust that it's, you know, you know they say nine minutes, but really nine minutes is like 12 minutes. Right. That's good? Mm -hmm. All right. So now I'm making a, because I had the uh, apple cider, I'm making an apple cider margarita. However, my only trouble with apple cider is that it's, it's very sweet. I got to take a cup of that. Pasta water. Oh, don't forget. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm there for you, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Amy. I got you. I need to. Uh, it just, it's so sweet. When I go to drink it, I basically can get through like half of a cocktail, and I feel like the sugar coats my teeth. So what I'm doing instead is taking some of the, the lime, the lime mixture that we made to kind of cut the uh, sweetness of the apple cider, and it should make it nice and bright and flavorful and still festive. This is a little too much. I need to make your pasta. What are you doing? It's not hot. But this comes back because we use this again. Do we? Yep. So it's kind of like one to one to one. Uh, Shake it cool again. Steam. Are you getting a facial? Mm. It's so fancy, Amy. What? Alright, so then we have our fun little cups. And as per usual, please don't use water to rim the glasses, oh, yeah. the glass rim. She always scolds about this. Please, please don't. It just, it turns into, especially if you're using sugar, it turns into like a mucky mess. But if you do it with like a nice lime, it's real pretty. Yeah, hot. sugar does not, sorry, water doesn't work when rimming a glass with sugar or salt. You have to use citrus. And then, so this is a little bit of sugar, and it's a little bit of I guess the, if you use simple syrup, it would work, but not yeah, just the, the pumpkin pie spice. Maybe I'll keep this closer. And I need a spoon. Okay. I think this has been about three minutes. It's pretty fragrant. Can you smell it? It smells good. It does smell good. Amy, I'm really excited about this cocktail. Me too. Okay, I, I say this all the time, but... If you don't already know it, when you need to use uh, lemon or lime juice, always roll the lemon or lime first. Amy, I have been rolling. Loosens the juices. Loosens the juices. But I've been rolling, rolling, rolling. 
Yeah. Did you not know this before I told you? I didn't. Oh, you can add a little on something. Just a little. We call it edutainment. I wonder if I could get like a little slice of the, oh, you know what I could do, Amy? I could actually like use like part of the peel too. I don't know that it, that's pretty or not, but that's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm excited to drink. Well, here, is this there? Is this one yours? I don't know. Oh. It has the name it on has it. Our I, names can't, on. I can't see. Not that anything would happen yes, if I drank is... Rebecca's. Oh, I'm going to take it back. I'm sorry. That does look pretty. It does look great. I have to take a picture. Where's yours? It's right there. I have to add the peel. We always have to. We, we have to embrace this time to also take photos for our Instagram. So we do it during the show. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I like the peel. It's and then it's like cute. a fruit snack. It's super cute. <laughs> Are you taking a picture now? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, because you're going to drink it. And then, and then that's it. <laughs> it's wet. Okay. I'm sorry. That's Talk amongst that's, yourselves. That's very fun. Okay, I'm, I'm going to uh, ch start chopping uh, uh, my apple while you do that. So now the apple. Orchard mode. You turn <laughs> it sideways work and you just work it. Okay. cut through the core. Here you go. Shall we? Yeah. Try this? And then you guys get some too. Okay, I'm drinking this now. Okay. Lachayim. Lachayim. Here is, oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. It's not super sweet. Mm -mm. It has like a hint of the apple, but it's not overwhelming. Because I was distracted doing my thing, mm -hmm. I completely missed. Is it tequila? Yeah. Oh, because it's the margarita, right? Yeah. Duh. It's delicious. I eat tequila whenever I can. So I actually. You guys love tequila. I do. Um, I cut it the in in not the usual half. Cut it through the core. And then you're going to take a core. Some people were using like tops of. Uh, bottle if you didn't have one but I I actually have the thing that's, that's supposed amazing. to usually I have to like make up like what is it jerry rig jimmy jerry, jerry, jerry rig. is it jerry I'm adding a tablespoon of lemon fresh lemon juice Ooh. and you take out the core vodka with the core oh, please. Oh, this is real vodka so Ooh. this recipe you can do vodka or gin I thought gin would be weird because it's so um juniper forward as you say oh, um, well, people like that I don't know I just thought for this we would a third of a cup. I have to say, I used to not care for gin, and as I've gotten older, I've Woo! Maybe I'm just more desperate. I don't know, but I like it now. Wow, Amy, I know. you are really cooking over. Got to cook that. Got to burn that vodka off. I can smell it. Woo! It's very vodka-y right now. <laughs> Definitely got to burn that. Off. All right, so I made donuts. You're done. Oh, that, yeah, that was it. So uh, there you go. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, and the olive okay. brine. So here's this. Oh, and then a quarter cup of the brine of the olives. Oh my gosh, which is so, so good. Brine. Oh, wow. Getting so real. Amy. Don't throw the brine away. You got to use the brine. Okay. So now I re re zhuzhed this a little. I'm happy. There you go. All right. Let's see. Uh, is this? When do you want to go to the Yiddish lesson? You want to go to the Yiddish lesson? Yeah, now? we only have eight minutes left. So. Let's do it. Uh, hey, let's go to the Yiddish lesson while we continue cooking. Hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> we're in the midst of eating. We're eating. We're, we're noshing a bagel with a lot of schmear. But we've used nosh and we've used schmear in our Yiddish lessons, so. Good. L'chaim. Um, <laughs> so, so what's the Yiddish word of the day, um, if not nosh or schmear? Yes, it's not food related, but it's nebish. Nebish. And nebish is someone who is kind of pitiful. I would say lacking in personality, kind of a zero. Unlucky. Unlucky. It's usually a man. It's kind of like a chopped liver sandwich without the chopped liver. <laughs> so that's just bread. <laughs> and so we'll, like, so use it in a sentence. Great, I can't think of a sentence. Um, Your husband is such a nebbish. He, he's good for nothing. He doesn't make any money. He's got a bad personality. I think you should divorce him. Are you talking him. about your father? No. <laughs> He's my husband. Or my husband, for that matter. Okay. I don't know why yeah. I said husband. That's just what I did. Yeah. But that's essentially it, right? Okay, so not your husband. Like, um, um, your uncle, Moish, is a real nebbish. He never made anything of himself. Right. He's just, he's just a loser. 
That's, Again, that's another not, not so nice Giddish word. <laughs> We're just filled with words that are insulting. Maybe that, maybe that's the nature of Yiddish. Yeah, that's right. Anyway. It's just full of insults. What a nebbish, oh, okay. you loser. All right, well, we're going to keep eating our bagels. My mom's visiting and my dad's in there. But um, we're enjoying our Goldberg bagels on their last day of visiting before they go back to California. And uh, let's finish our bagels and yep. back to you. Ciao. Shalom. Shalom. Your mom is adorable. <laughs> I do, I do love when your family does Yiddish lessons. Is that oftentimes it's always negative. It's, it's negative. It's like the most negative uh, word they can schmuck. find. Schmuck. <laughs> what am I? Nebbish. You look up nebbish. Alta cocker. It's luckless and timid, timid person. Loveless, loveless and timid. Luckless and, and timid person. Luckless and timid person, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. So now to get these really crisp, I'm uh, drying them off with a uh, paper towel, and then I just dip them in here. It sticks beautifully. All right, let's hope this isn't too hot. Here we go. So this is, has to cook down for about three minutes or so until it reduces, um, which is pretty much there. They put the pasta back in the pot with like half a cup of uh, the pasta water, which is, that's about that. And then once this sauce is... Um, Cook down, which it nearly is. That goes in as well. And uh, just when you're going to make these, uh, I always say, un try make sure it's not stuck on the bottom. So that's also part of why it uh, gets a little flat as opposed to to round. Oh, that reminds me. Ooh, something else we have to try. What are you trying? We have time. If we have time, we're going to try something else that was a little bit viral that doesn't require preparing. Well, who was who's the who was the messenger? Bethany Frankel. Um, she has a personality. She has a personality. Amy Goss is going back in here. Ooh. Boy. Okay, I'm getting it all in there. Okay, they're going. They're going. They're going. They are. Oh, look at that! So cute, right? All right, so um. This goes back in here. Ooh, that's delicious. You cook it for about two minutes. It's a little fried extra parts. Mm. Where was this water? We'll dip on the bottom. Oh, I can't wait to try this. What else goes in there? Me too. <laughs> what else goes in there? I wonder if the hype is real. Yes. Um, well, the gorgonzola. Okay. And um, some parsley. And that it. I have a little bit of finishing salt, and I have mm. some red pepper flakes for them who like it spicy. Oh, it smells good. It smells so they good. They say you can also add a little bit of cream if you want. I did bring some. I think I'm going to keep it the way they said and not do that. Um, I'm just going to chop up some parsley. Because next up, ooh, we add parsley, black pepper, and half of the blue cheese. Half of the blue cheese. Oh. With more pasta water. Oopsie! <laughs> Screwed that up. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, sorry. Did you add all of it in? I did. Oh. I can just add some regular water in the case. Well, now it's the new viral. You know what? I'll just put the cream in. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, so now I'm just going to make the sugar mixture to dip them in, which is just any old amount of sugar and more. I use pumpkin pie spice, but, uh, you can just use regular cinnamon if you like, or brown sugar is also a nice. I did try it with powdered sugar just to see if it was, but I thought with the. Making a mess. I thought it just came out kind of mushy. Like it got mushy in a way I didn't, I didn't love. Oh, little ones go. I almost feel like I'm making latkes. It's really cute. I'm gonna take a picture of you. <laughs> Doing this, yeah. Look at me being all serious. when I cook it long enough for it to actually cook. <laughs> David has a question. David. Isn't what you're making very much like a puttanesca? Uh, I guess so. Does puttanesca have capers in it? No, it does, right? Except, but not the blue cheese. No. Yeah, that's weird. That's the weird part, honestly. The blue cheese, I can't How are we all feeling it. about that? Uh, all right, so I, I don't know why, because it's just like warm cheese. Like, it, it should... Parsley, 
Gorgonzola. Oh, no, it's going to be good. Come on. All right. Have faith. Remain positive. I'm going to do positive. a little bit of cream because that's a suggestion, not a requirement, but because I used all the water too early. Yeah. I'm doing that. It's because I don't want it to be too dry. All right, so. That's it. You did it? Well, I'm going to. That's the whole recipe. Yours? Or mine? Oh, yours. Oh, yeah. So I'm just scooping it around. So like, oh my god, we're almost out of time. This is like a half half hour. I, I can't ever make dinner in Ugh. less than that. Um. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Come on, Amy. Okay. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I will say that it looks, you know, okay. <laughs> Honestly, I, I've never met a pasta that I was, like, offended by. I love yeah. pasta. No. Unless it was made with, like, cheese that had gone bad. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I didn't, you know, I didn't taste this as we go, and I probably should. <laughs> this pan is a little small for what I, how I originally did it. But sometimes it's hard to travel with really large pans. It's not terrible. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Um, I just wanted to make sure it didn't need like any any um, salt, which it definitely doesn't. I like it, but I feel like it needs like a brightness. Do you know what I mean? Oh well, I did put the lemon juice in the red pepper flake. Oh, red pepper flake. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, and I like I like spicy. Here, we'll food. just do this. I'll do a little bit of yeah, a little bit of extra lemon yeah, juice, yeah, yeah. Um, more parsley, and you're supposed to put a little bit of this on top. Which I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm just doing that, coating it gently. Come on, those are donuts. Those are donuts. This is not. This is exactly what they said it would be. Look how pretty those came out. Do you want red pepper flake on yours? Yeah. Please. Oh, you know what I'm, I'm sensitive. Say? I'm sensitive. What? To what? Like as a person? Here. Say it right before sweet. Shit saying like crazy. There we go. That means sweating for the non-Jews. <laughs> non Manja. It's the good time. Thank you. I like that. It's actually good. It's weird. It's good. It's really good. I think the gorgonzola is a better choice because mm -hmm. it's a little bit calmer. Are we able to taste some of these? We're not ready yet. No? Mm -hmm. We can? I'm just eating. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was. So, what Bethany Frankel said really quick, we're a little bit over time, but she was talking about this perlage. These are tartufo. Um, Tartufo Nero, it's it's um, truffle pearls, yeah. like caviar. So I just want to try this here. I'm going to put it on your hand there to bump it. Because this was a viral thing, too, because I immediately bought it pearls? when truffle pearls. So it's not caviar, it's truffle. Oh, yes, it is. Mm. Oh, yum. That's delicious. She ain't kidding. She liked it. So she puts it on a chip. Sure. We're gonna let you. All, it wasn't cheap, but I'm gonna let you all taste some. It wasn't it's not as expensive as caviar. A little bit of creme fraiche. Mm. On the chip, is it good? Bethany Frankel's right about this one. Thumbs up to the Perlage Tartufo Nero, especially on a potato chip with creme fraiche. Good stuff. All right, we made it. Oh, no, I forgot to put oh, I also some shallots. I found it online. Oh. All right. Dessert time. There's dessert. Oh, my God. This is crazy. We accomplished a lot today. It might be hot. It's hot. Mm. Oh, my God. It's good, right? Really good. Mm. Wow, and full. We had everything. We did it. We did it. Viral sensations today. Thank you. Maybe I, I, all, I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. 
I think unlike our last viral sensations episode, this one was a full success. Everything won. Watch the first one and you'll see why. <laughs> Whoa. That, the, um, cl the cloud, cloud red. red. Don't try it. Um, well, um, this has been Two Jews Making Food. I'm Amy. And I'm Rebecca. Join us next time for, for more Schmaltz, Schmaltz and Shtick. L'chaim.